Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to add music to your game in the background that will play evenly everywhere, um, anywhere your player goes in the game, and um, I'm not sure, I should probably read the terms and conditions on this, but I'm just making a video for now, and I, it's not like I'm going to be selling this tutorial game we're making or anything, it's just for uh, video purposes, but uh, YouTube has an audio library and you can just go here if you would like um, or if you want to you can go to your creator studio and go down to create an audio library and that's how you get to it and they have all these options of free copyright free music you could use in your game which I've made a video about before um, I like to select attribution not required or else you have to credit them and you can set a mood, a genre, an instrument, duration, anything you want. Now I've got some favorites and I've already downloaded one of them and to, to download it you just click this download button to favorite it you toggle the favorite button here and if you want to listen to it press the play button and you can skip anywhere into the track that you want see if you actually like it um, since I downloaded it already, I made a folder for it in my project folder. See, I got my games. Just made an audio folder. And then you can open your project on Unity and create a folder. We'll say audio. And then in here, I'll make another folder called music. And then we'll just drag that over. Um, you can either drag it over or you can go through the asset file and not even make that extra folder in the first place. So now it's in our game. Uh, it's not doing much good here. Uh, you can you can mess with it a little bit, like you can turn on load and background if you'd like. Uh, I'm not gonna do anything with it. I'll just click apply so it doesn't want me to. Now it's doing something. Alright! And if you want to play this, it needs to be on an audio source, which we had a game manager before, which I gotta make again. Because I messed mine up. And on here for background music, I'll just add an empty. I'll just create an empty on top of it. And we'll say music. That way we can add multiple audio sources later because that's exactly what we're going to add right now. Audio source. And in here you can select a clip since we only got one. Uh, we don't have to really, we don't have to drag it from here. <clears throat> I'm not going to worry about the output. Uh, in fact, I've never uh, messed with an audio mixer group. We don't want it set to mute. We don't want to bypass effects. Everything on here is fine. Play on awake is what you need to make sure you have checked. And loop if you want it to continue playing. And then over here, priority. It's a high priority. We want it always playing. Volume, we might want to change that in a bit. Pitch, you want to leave at once. Stereo pan, uh, pan, don't worry about that. Spatial blend, if you change it to 3D, this is how far you are away from it in the games units, which I'm assuming would be meters, because, uh, I don't know. <coughs> and you can change to a linear roll-off, and it evenly goes away, and you, you can change the max distance and everything, um, but I'm going to keep mine as 2D. And I believe you should be able to hear it from everywhere. I don't know. I've never... Never, uh... Messed with it before. Let's set this one. All the way... All the way up. No, we don't want to go above one. We'll just set. We'll just set it bigger than our uh, bigger than our map would ever be. 
And then we'll take the end here. Why is it doing that? We want it to be set to 1. This doesn't make any sense. I, I don't know what it's doing. <laughs> Actually, just set this one all the way up. As high as it'll go. It won't match it. Alright, that'll work. If your map is bigger than 990,000 units across, that is ridiculous. Unless you got a bunch of scenery, but your player, if, if they can make it that far, that's amazing. And that should be perfectly fine because the minimum value is how, uh, how close you have to be before it plays at full volume, basically. So we'll never go above full volume or below full volume. And in fact, we'll probably put this at 0 0.8 since it's background music, or 0.6. And then if we press play, it's playing. And here's a great chance to uh, edit your settings. Maybe we want to turn the volume down to 0.4, for example. And if, you, if you're going to mess with any other settings, I'll show you a great trick here. Just copy component, and then when you're done playing, you can paste component values. And that changed it to whatever values you changed. And everything works fantastic. That's all you got to do. And if you want to add more than one song, then you need to write a script to disable certain audio sources and enable other ones. Um, I'm, I'm sure you can change out the audio clip. I'm sure you can write a script that uh, you can attach a bunch of different audio clips to and then change it out whenever you feel like. I've never done that before and I don't really care to. This is good enough for me. Hopefully it's good enough for you. See you in the next video.